Alhamdulillah. In this container, I have over 38 caterpillars, but not just any caterpillar. I have silkworm caterpillars. And it's been a minute since we've done a silkworm feeding video on this channel, so let's get to it. Welcome back everybody, my name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. If you enjoy videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates, then definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do my best to post one to two videos a week. Naturally, before we get into feeding the animals, we have to talk about why it is exactly that silkworms are as special as they are and why we want to make them an integral part of our feeding routine and offering variety to our animals. Well, Silkworms are arguably one of the best feeder insects on the market. In fact, these caterpillars generally have a higher percentage of protein in their bodies that is available to your animals than the majority of feeder insects on the market. Not only this, they're high in levels of magnesium, iron, vitamin B groups, and calcium, which makes them super beneficial as far as being consumed by your pets and how they can benefit from them. Not only this, silkworms contain an enzyme in their bodies called serapeptase, which is known to reduce inflammation in the body, and that can be very beneficial for your pets. Interesting little fact, humans have actually created a capsule of this enzyme to help with their own bodies, or I guess I should say our own bodies. I'm a human too, I promise, or my lizard man. Do I need more evidence that uh, these caterpillars are a good thing to feed your pets? I think not. So let's get right into the video and start feeding these caterpillars, sorry guys, to my pet reptiles. Hope you enjoy. The first animal we're gonna feed here is avocado. Guys, thanks so much for the really great success of my Pac-Man frog video. I'm actually genuinely surprised that many of you are so enthusiastic about the video and it really means a lot. Here's avocado, as you can see, their face is completely healed. Those are just some natural markings there. We'll go ahead now and offer them a silkworm. There we go. Look at that face. Bravo. Moving on. Here is another Pac-Man frog. This is another Ceratophrys cornuta. Suriname horned frog. Oh. These guys are growing up so fast, it's kind of crazy. Okay, moving on. Hello there, handsome. What you doing, man? Hey, buddy, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to move there. I can't, uh, can't really feed you when you're on the door like that. Hey, can you, there you go. So as you can see, these guys are growing freakishly fast since I got them a little over a month ago starting to get blue on their toes, on the top of their head. But the nice thing is, look how far they've come as far as their teaming or their conditioning. That is not a shy lizard anymore. Here we go. Hey buddy. Ah! Okay, that wasn't my intention. Do you want the rest? There you go. <laughs> Uh, these guys are so cool, people. You gotta get into a Knowles, I tell you. And look at my female. She's she's like, where the heck is my silkworm? It's coming. Don't worry. You want another one? Okay, let's give your future wife one, and then and then I'll come back and give you another one. Okay, there you go. Here. You don't have to take it from me. I'll give it to you. There you go. Hello. There you go, girl. Now, I mean it when I say these guys sometimes give Sabzi a run for her money because they can periodically be very, very messy eaters. Here you go, buddy. Ay, ay, 
Yay. So next we're gonna feed some of my Geomida Spengleri black-breasted leaf turtles. We'll start with E.T. because he is the extraordinary turtle. Oh, here he comes. Ready to dirty his water dish. Hello, sir. There you go, sir. Enjoy. And as you know, the leaf turtles, well, maybe he won't this time, but they usually take their food and go run away with it. Looks like he's gonna eat on camera for us this time. We got lucky. Sometimes they wanna run. Yep, yeah, okay, maybe I saw just you know, They run away with it somewhere else and then eat. I'm okay with him not being in the water dish though. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Just settle down and eat, buddy. Next we have Autumn, who's one of my females. Let's see if she, <laughs> here she comes. Oh yeah, happy turtle. Where are you gonna go with that? You're gonna run away and go hide behind your fern? Ay ay ay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Autumn, E.T., and sometimes Littlefoot seem to be the only leaf turtles I have that enjoy eating silkworms. Hi, Littlefoot. Hey, buddy. Want a silkworm? You go, bud. Do you like that? Good boy. You can see, Littlefoot is doing a lot better. He doesn't have any of those weird scars on his face anymore. He still eats really weird. I always feel bad for everything he's eating. But it is what it is. He eventually gets it all down, so that's all that matters. Good job, buddy. Doing good, little foot. Keep going. Alright everyone, Sabzi is more than likely just napping right now, but I know exactly where she usually naps and I know that this will wake her right up, so don't blink. I know I sure can't. Here we go. Here she comes. Are you okay, Sabzi? Uh, this girl, I tell you, she is a funny animal. Well. I guess we're not going to get much of a mess from that one because it's pretty small. Good girl, Sabzi. Friends, the uh, tree monitor enclosure has had a few hiccups. I have some updates to give on that at some point. But rest assured, it is probably going to be completed within the month or so give or take, maybe slightly longer. I apologize, but as far as like you guys getting to see it should be about a month. I don't mean that the enclosure itself. I have to finish it and then the big reveal will be the video. But yeah, for the meantime, these hooligans are gonna still be living in their other tanks. All right, so you already know the drill. We have the enrichment toy. We're gonna put a silkworm here inside of it and then let Sabzi extract it as a form of a bit of enrichment. What's in there? What is in there? <laughs> That's my girl. Good job. Okay, uh, cue the mess, I imagine, because that's a bigger one. Oh jeez, all that mulberry. Hey, sorry, silkworm. Messy 
messy, messy. Sabzi on another one. I just cleaned the glass, Sabzi. I just cleaned the glass. Ay, ay, ay. I still love you, but I tell you. We're gonna need to hire a window cleaner soon because this is getting out of hand. And of course we gotta bring back the good old fashioned uh, bird nest. Kind of a must. Yeah, there's nothing in it yet, Sabzi. She's clearly, oops. She's like, nope, I'm not letting that fall. She's clearly figured this one out too while she rushes over <laughs> to it to see what treats are waiting for her. Look how messy you are. You're like a little kid eating ribs or something. Here. Take a look see in there. Yep, there you go. That really wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> Good girl, well done. Nom nom nom. Good girl. Good girl, Sabsy. We're gonna go feed some Shinisaurus now. All right, everybody, here's a Shinisaurus Crocodilurus enclosure. Let's go ahead and see. If anybody's interested in eating. I can see that Rexy is over here. She might come out. I don't see the other two shinies. They're most likely here as usual. So we'll start with Rexy and see where we're at. Well, if Rexy's not gonna cooperate, I know who will. Funny enough, after all those vet visits and who knows what, my male shinisaurus Come round and let me tell you, he uh, is an eager boy. He loves eating, as you can see here. He will not shy away from food. Good job, buddy. Okay, you want another one, buddy? Rexy, you gonna come round or what? You're just gonna watch your uh, hubby eat there. See if we can give her one like this. <laughs> Have a taste for it. There you go. Well, 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 Rexy. Looks like you came out to say hi after all, huh? Hey. Look at this guy. What you doing? Are you trying to take away Rexy's food? Unacceptable behavior, I tell ya. Shoot now. Cool. Get out of here. Alright, Rexy, what's it gonna be? You gonna eat or not? I can't defend the food forever. Come on, Rexy. Ay, 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 ay. This is how it has to be, I swear. I give up. Wow, look at that, it's a terribilis party. Hi guys, how you doing? We're all just chilling, after eating a bunch of flies, still eating. All right, now, please excuse the dirty water dish. It looks like Sappy's already out and waiting. Let's go ahead now and see if she would like to have a silk one. Sunny is right now, but we'll see if we can give him one too. Hey, right, Sappy, where are you? There you are. Or Sunny, I mean. Good boy. Good times! <laughs> They're doing great! And I cannot wait to update you guys on Project Mini Dragons because there are some exciting updates to give you guys, let me tell you. Now, I always like to do a few of the toke feedings during the day so we can get a good look at them. 
Hey Tiki, how you doing, buddy? Look at you. You're so handsome. What an amazing lizard. Wow. Definitely gonna have to do a toke update soon. I'll have a look in here. We got some more eggs. Good job, Torch. Come on, Tiki. Good boy. <laughs> okay. Right, let's see if Torch is over here. Hey, Torch. Come on over, girl. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Let's go. Nope, not baby. <laughs> Torch, come on. That's for you. Ay, 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 look at you, eh? Little baby toke. Nope, the other way, please. Let's go. Where are you going? Ay, 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 technical difficulties, it seems. But we'll let them finish, and then we'll catch them. Please, go back. <laughs> You're fine. There. Ay, caramba. Okay, I'm gonna try and feed Torch again. Crazy little toke. Tiki, come on, dude. Let's get him out of the way. Or try. Oh gosh, that was not my intention. Yikes. Torch, I'm trying. Here, quick, take it. There we go. Tiki, get out of here. You stole half of Torch's silkworm. How can he be so greedy to your wife? Torch, be ready. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Are you kidding me right now? Torch, I'm sorry. You had half a silkworm. I'll try again later tonight when it's dark because your husband is a greedy man. Next up is Mr. Basil or Basil, the Varanus Prasinus. Green tree or emerald tree monitor. Look at this handsome man. This is one nice looking lizard. Isn't he incredible? He's kind of going into shed. You can see he's a bit pale right now, but that doesn't mean he's not hungry, does it, Basil? Upside down. There you go. Definitely less messy than Sabzi, aren't you? you want another one, buddy? There you go. Good boy. Good job, sir. Good job. What I got? You need some planking here, try planting. Yeah. Go back. What an amazing animal. Good job, buddy. All right, Basil, you want another one? That's how we get them less shy, everybody. Good boy. All right, let's move on. Before we end today's video, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support there. It means so much to me. Many of you are constantly asking me, how does you can support the channel, my animals, the trips, the vet visits, and more? additionally from being viewers and supporters of the channel. Naturally, that's the best way to do it, but if you're looking for a different way to support a little bit more, you can become a patron. For as little as $2 a month, you can unlock a whole slew of perks, get sneak peeks, discounts on merch, and more. If you want more information about that, you can check it out down below in the video description. And as always, we're gonna give a shout out to our newest patron members since the last video, shout outs. So, when you become a new patron, I give you an NVIDIA shout out, and it's a fun little way that we can announce new members of that community. So, for today, we're thanking our two newest patrons, Jesse and Tyler. Thanks so much for joining my Patreon community. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to chatting with you both soon. Luna, it's here. Here you go. Here. Good girl. All right, next up we have Jabba and Leela down here. You all know by now, 
said Leela loves silkworms, as you can see. Leela, you want that? Here she comes. Whoopee. She got it. That is a happy gecko. And uh, we got Pingu on the other side, wanting one too. So, Jones was hanging out down here. He, he really doesn't go for them, but he likes crickets. All right, so here's Pingu. Come on, girl. <laughs> you got it. Take it easy, girl. Mm, mm, mm. And now we have one last animal we're gonna give the final silkworm to. Wonder who you think it might be. Okay, well this, my friends, is my Cruziohyla craspidopus. You'll notice that I said it singularly. And uh, well, there will be a video on this topic, but unfortunately, I only have one left. And it's a long story, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth doing a whole video on. We'll see, but I will explain it, probably in like a frog video or something. Uh, I'm very thankful to still have one animal that I raised from a tadpole, but it's been very, heartbreaking as an experience, but thankfully this animal is doing great and uh, not going anywhere, put it that way. Uh, this frog eats really well, so we'll offer them a silver. Yeah, there you go buddy, using your hands. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of hilarious. She's just, he or she, I'm hoping she uh, uses their hands to just stuff their mouth with food. Kind of cool how their eyelids actually have the spotting on them too. So, yeah, that's the Craspidopus there. Well, everybody, I think that's a good feeding. Now, for today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all what is your favorite feeder insect and why? How does it benefit your pets? What is it about them that you love the most about offering them to your animals? Maybe it's their ability to consume lots of healthy, nutritious foods that your pet can benefit from. Maybe it's their affordability. Maybe it's the way that they move that enriches your pet's feeding experience. I'd like to know in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thank you. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's silkworm feeding video. I'm gonna do my best to get back into making these videos once a month, because feeding the animals as much as possible on camera is fun for you guys to get to see everybody. And again, silkworms are such amazing feeder insects. It's only beneficial to show you why that is and we'll have a lot of fun with it. So with that being said, if you wanna see more silkworm feeding videos, definitely check out the playlist up above here. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you again soon for an upcoming awesome video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everyone, bye.